let's go ahead and jump right into Dr. Death. Now, I'm not even going to front. I'm not even going to lie to y'all. This show is crazy. And when you watch it, you'll see how messed up this whole situation is. So it's about a doctor, Dr. Dunce. I believe that's how you pronounce the name. Dunce, Dunce or whatever. And he basically is was known as one of the top neurosurgeons or whatever in America and all that stuff. But he's left a trail of bodies as well as people that were maimed after the surgeries that he's worked on throughout the years until it took two surgeons that basically looked at his whole thing, all his operations and saw what he was doing and decided to actively work to take him down in the whole process. And so the show really just follows that as well. I guess you could say the present, the, you know, whatever. And it also shows a little bit into his background, how the doctor became who he was all the way, kind of like two stories, kind of meeting up at the end to have like one end result. And this story is just extremely messed up when you learn how long he's operated, pun intended, and just how much damage he's done. And everybody just kind of looked away. You had hospitals not really doing too much investigation. Like that was stuff that, you know, it was looked at as like, okay, that seems strange. Uh, and then, you know, just kind of carried on. It wasn't anything that was really investigated and looked into until, you know, pressure was applied to even do that. And it's an extremely messed up story. Um, and it's just crazy how they allowed him to get away with it and just just do what he was doing in the capacity that he was done, doing it in. And it was just... I'm like, I, I can't really, I don't want to give too much away, but his, like, the whole situation with his friend was very, very messed up. Like, you actually get into kind of like the psyche of just how he moves, how just the type of person that he is and that he is just an evil person. He just looks at himself as like a godly type figure of that, you know, basically he has your life in his hands, like literally has your life in his hands. It's up to him of how, you know, your story ends, you know, does it have a happy ending at least, you know, up to that point or do it not? So he kind of sees himself in that light and he shows that, yeah, he, <laughs> he feels that he is a God. And one of the things I can say is that Christian Slater is phenomenal in his role. He is one of the standout characters in this to me. And he is hilarious in his role. The comic relief and just how he portrays his role and does a great job every time that he's on screen. On screen it's like he steals the screen because you're just enthralled with his uh with his performance. Alec Baldwin does an amazing job as well. And Joshua Jackson does great as Dr. Dunch. I, I don't know how to pronounce the name, but he does great as uh, Dr. Death in this show. And he just, he nails it. He really does nails it. Anna Sophia Robb does a great job as well. And it doesn't really go into his life to really have you sympathize with him. And I thought that was one of my worries about it. But it does show that he is an unlikable douchebag. And he's just absolutely deserved what he got and even more. He had no remorse for what he did to any of the patients that he did whatever to. And... Even just the people that was close to him that treated him good, he just treated them like shit. And it's just, it's freaking nuts to me how this person was just able to do what he did and nobody really said anything. And I get the whole fact of he was up here and a lot of people were down here. So it's like if you were to say something... It may get ignored, it may get pursued, but it may not get really pursued like you might want it to. It may end up dying out, and a lot of people's careers and livelihoods are on the line. So, it's a lot of variables that go behind it. So, I understand that whole aspect, but it just showed that it took two pristine doctors 
to even kind of struggle to take him down, to even get a case going against this guy. And the doctor really does come off very narcissistic. He comes off as an asshole to everyone around him. And it, it's just, he's very manipulative in what he does. Like he is just one of those people that you would not want to operate on you because he come off as a nice guy. But then at the end, it's like the damage is done. I'm gone you know, and it's just very nuts. It got you kind of, it, it would have you thinking like, damn, I hope that I don't ever end up in the situation that these people ended up in because it took a long time to get him shut down. And when he, when he got shut down, he got shut down. Okay. Uh, I'm not going to give too much away about the show, but it is messed up in a lot of the things that he says, a lot of things that he does in this show. And it just shows just the evil of a person. And I feel like the, the flashbacks really didn't dive into the psyche of why he is the way he is. I guess you could get like certain things, but it doesn't really answer the question of why he felt that way. Why he really did what he did. But I mean, you can kind of guess that's just how people are. He's just a just you know he's just that way some people just born that way some people are created that way and it's just he was just one of those people but overall i really did like the show um i didn't i wasn't too particular in the flashback scenes of his life i don't know like that just kind of turned me off a bit but i get why they did that but i just wasn't you know, it wasn't one of the best parts to me. But overall, it's a show that I feel like a lot of people should check out. A lot of people should get into and just, you know, see, just see this, this craziness uh, that that actually did happen. This was based off of a actual guy who did all this stuff in all the efforts to take him down. And it's just, it's one of those things that just make you think like, man, I hope I never end up in that situation, but definitely check it out. You can find it on Peacock. If you have Peacock, you can watch it on there. If you don't, easy to sign up and just go ahead and check it out. And that is my review for that. And if you've liked what you've heard so far, go ahead and give this video a like as well as subscribe if you're not. And so...